Hey lady, you're dressed very businessy for you're probably an accountant here for for the farmers. Hello people and welcome to Farming Simulator 2015. Hope you guys are having a lacquer day. I'm having a great day. So where we left off last time, uh, we had about 20, 20, 24,000 monies. Yeah, I think that's that's what we had. So uh, I've been doing a little bit of off-camera work and uh, basically all I've done was uh, I harvested the canola. Uh, it was on a special price. Uh, let me show you guys here. It did show it for a while that canola... Well, a message popped up and it said canola is on sale at... I think it was at the... Yeah, here we go. You see, it's still left. So... It was at 1.9 for 5 hours for... I think it said 24 hours or 12 hours. It's down to 5 hours now. We do not have canola anymore, so we can't... Well, we do have 5,000, but it's not. doesn't even fill a whole wagon with it so a whole trailer load so it's not worth it to go and drive all the way and sell it because if you look at it the grain elevator is indicating right at the bottom there it's flickering and that's a uh, that's quite a long drive for only five thousand but uh, we've got a hundred thousand now because i sold some of the cannolis and uh, that is amazing so i want to get oh what a, a laggy piece of bit there I want to get into a sprayer. I want to buy this guy. And I think we need to do it. We need to buy it. We did it! We bought it! It's ours now. What else can we get? We have the money up. Do we need another tractor? I don't know. So, one is there. I don't think we need another tractor at this moment. We don't have the monies as well. This one maybe. 55 kilowatt. What have we got? Our big one is a uh, almost 90. It's a 89 kilowatts, 121 horse horsepower horsepower, <laughs> and uh, this one is a 55 kilowatt anyway. So we're not gonna do that. So what we need to do now is go all the way. Oh, not all the way, right over here, and pick up our sprayer. Oh, first time we've we've come across the shop here. Oh, there's a truck at the back there be cool if we can drive it so I'm just going through the parking lot here hope this thing can pick it up let's see here let's just uh, get out first and see what it looks like oh I'm on the wheel Ooh, what is this what does it do I don't know Amazon Amazon Ooh, it's got a speaker at the back that is amazing look at it it's gonna play sound while it sprays you can play your favorite hip-hop hits Right, let's get this buddy lined up. I love this little window at the back here. It's so cool. You can just reverse all the way. And then I will want to go and uh, spray the fields. Attach. Alright. So, I'm gonna... It looks so cool. This guy can drive without any problems. Let's see. Oh, this tractor is amazing. I think we need to buy another one. It's so fast as well. I wonder how the big, bigger ones are gonna be. But uh, we need a lot more money for that. So, my deer with the filler on the back. Not the filler, the sprayer. So, apparently it doubles the yield of the farm. So, last time we saw in the last episode that with canola, we don't even fill the harvester. When we do one of the fields. So, I'm guessing if we do this, it's going to double it. So, I'm guessing we're going to fill the harvester then. And that would be super awesome. So if we can do that, that would be amazing. But uh, I'm going to head over to the field. And uh, then when I'm there, I'll meet you guys there. Be right back, people. And we're back, people. And we have to refill the sprayer here. So we have to park next to this thing here. And then we hit R. Let's see it filling up. Oh, and it's costing lots of monies. That is quite a bit. It's going to be like 500 bucks to fill up. It doesn't matter. I'm sure it'll be worth it. I mean, we can make that back in one load easy. So let's head over to field number 14. I have to see how big this guy opens up as well. It says 24 meter meters on the page, on the shop page, the store page. Let's see here. So 
squared working with 24 meters capacity 1920 oh cool it's almost in HD <laughs> maintenance $40 a day all right you own one fruit types fertilizer all right so let's do this and let's just see here let's zoom out a bit so unfold X Ooh, that's one two looks like that's gonna be the last bit so that's pretty wide I mean that's that's amazing we almost hit that that street pole we'll get fined for that all right let's get all the stuff started here we will have to do it in this view I mean I don't know how we're gonna see if we do it in the other way we can test it so let's see here um, turn on sprayer B uh, press mouse buttons for additional tools oh we can lower it and make it higher that's pretty cool I don't know what it does but uh, it's pretty cool I think I'm wasting a bit. We can go a bit m this way, a little bit more. All right, so yeah, apparently this is gonna increase the yield of the field. That's a cool thing to say. Increase the yield of the field. But uh, yeah, I must stop saying but uh, but uh, but uh, but uh, stop saying that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this one up. I don't think it's gonna take very long, and then I'm going to spray field number 19 as well and uh, then I'll be right back people then I'll see you guys when it's done and we're ready to harvest and we're back people and I thought I'd show you guys this quickly uh, we're here at what is this it's called let's just see here the vegetable warehouse so potatoes are almost double what it usually is well times 1.7 uh, got a great demand for it so I'm gonna load off the ones that we have and then see what we get here. So we have 1,500, well, 15,000 liters. So let's drop it off. Q. And the money keeps rolling in. Oh, yes. Amazing. Almost 20 grand. All right. So farm. Well. got to drive like this it's better oh that's a problem we can't drive like that so yeah what I was saying is uh, the fields are almost ready to harvest and uh, then I think we'll go and sell the canola that we've got so I'll bring you guys back once oh this tractor is dirty once the fields are ready to harvest or finish harvest then we'll see if the yield is more than it is without fertilizing it so look at this pretty town it's a little town over here pretty cool Hey lady, you're dressed very businessy for, you're probably an accountant here for, for the farmers. But uh, I'm gonna be right back when the fields are ready people, so see you just now. And we're back people. And uh, yeah, we've got the first field done. See in the foreground there, the second field is uh, almost ready to harvest. So I don't actually know, I can't remember. I'll have to do this field without without fertilizing it because uh, currently we can almost fill up the harvester. And I don't think the first time we did this we could fill up the harvester with the canola. Um, I think it got to about like... What was it? I think it was like 53% or something like that. And, whoa! We hit something. That's no good. It's bad. Oh crap. I think it's the pipe. What is going on here? Put the pipe back. What the hell? Alright, so let's go back into the cockpit view. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unload this one first. I'll get the trailer over here, unload it. Let's take the pipe out. It's crap that we can't see this pipe. How are we supposed to know? Look at all the canola seeds there. Alright, so the pipe is out. Let's head over to our freaking dirty tractor over here. We need to wash this thing. Can't even see the name anymore on it. 
120 45 this is an amazing little tractor uh, so yeah the potatoes were pretty awesome we sold quite a bunch of it all right load us up but I'm gonna wait for this field to finish then we're gonna check the percentage of canola we get out of this one and then I'll do the fields again but without fertilizing it just so we can run a test and see if it really does what it says it does that would be awesome just to test it and I mean it's not gonna waste any time or cost us anything so it's gonna be awesome I'll let uh, John start the plowing on the other field and uh, then we'll get it going people actually we only have to do the one field just to test it so the other field we can plant again and use all of the stuff and things but uh, let's see Oh, oh, we can't drive today, so I'm gonna get that going and then I'll be right back people And we're back people and I'm on my way to the grain elevator because uh, I Loaded some barley we got about a, I think it was about 10,000 liters almost maybe just under 9,800 and something so I want to sell that and I want to sell the storage I don't want to sell the storage, I'm lying. I want to sell the wheat and also I want to sell the canola that we've got because I want a new tractor and I also want a new sewing machine. So I think we're going to buy this guy and then we'll get a tractor that's fitting for it because it says required power 132 kilowatts. So hopefully when we finish all, well, when we finish selling all of these, I think it's going to take a bit of time driving up and down, up and down. But uh, hopefully when we finish selling all of this, uh, we'll have enough to buy both. Uh, then I'll bring you guys back when we have the cashola's for it. So I'm going to see you then, people. Be right back. And we are back, people, with a buttload of money. So I'm heading over to this store right now. And uh, I decided we need to get rid of this tractor. It is, uh, I can't remember what the name of this one was. Let's see here. The Major 80. It's got such a cool name though. But, uh, ooh, over the line, that's not good. I think it is time that we get uh, rid of this one. Uh, John has been complaining that uh, it's got no radio. Well, the radio is there, but it's not working, so he can't listen to uh, his hip hop music, and uh, that bothers him quite a bit, so. I decided we'll get a new one for him. So he said uh, he's gonna be a happier worker and he'll uh, work faster, longer hours. So that is exciting for me. So I think we park it here. Now apparently you can sell it from your farm where you where you are. Then someone can pick it up. So then you get twenty nine grand for it. But uh, but uh, damn it. <laughs> yes, so if you do it that way, then someone comes up, picks it up, then you have to, they charge you for the pickup and all that. So let's go over here and then we'll go sell vehicle. Oh, that's quite a lot extra you get. Almost 15, no, it is, yeah, 15,000. 15,800 extra. That is amazing. All right, cool. So now we have lots of monies 311,000 US dollar. So let's buy some stuff uh i'm looking for two things actually this sewer with this sewing machine you can sew fields additionally this machine offers the possibility to see directly no previous cultivating or plowing is necessary so we can use one tractor then we don't have to hire another worker to run the farm and uh cultivate it and then another one to seed it so that is pretty amazing so i'm gonna buy that guy can fetch your purchase at the store okay and uh, then we are looking for a tractor as well oh yes uh, and I had my eyes my sights set on oh actually we can I had my sights set on this one but seeing as though we have the mulas now why don't we just go for the bigger one which is this guy so this is 193 kilowatts. This is 235. Uh, the maintenance a day is not that much big of a difference. That bitch, what? That not that much big of that much big of a difference. <laughs> that isn't that much. The difference between them, uh, maintenance-wise, is not that much. So I think, yeah, let's buy the New Holland, the T8. Oh 
Yes. This is going to be cool. What? Where is the New Holland? What the heck? Oh, it's in the store? <gasps> that is cool. That is so awesome. But uh, I think that's going to be it for this episode, people. We'll check out the tractor and the cedar and cultivator in the next episode. Hope you guys had a fantastic time. If you did, sludoy like button. I'm Vitman. Have a great day, people. Bye-bye.